you come across corks i'm gonna ask you what are you gonna do with them I know I'm going to put them on my nails. Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I reckon I struck gold when I came across this cork ribbon from a $2 shop. <laughs> oh, simple things amuse simple minds. Um, I fell in love with it straight away and it's actually a ribbon with the thinnest of cork layer on top of it. So naturally when I saw it, I'm like I have to put this on a set. So here we are today. I am going to combine it with all these gorgeous bright colours which you're seeing along with a couple of glitters from Glitter Heaven Australia. So my plan is to stick this cork ribbon on two of the nails. So first I'm going to cut a section of this ribbon and have it ready for when I'm ready to apply it on the nails. And then I'm going to prep the two nails which I want to put it on. Because I want them to, I don't want the cork to cover the whole nail, I'm going to use a little bit of Nutty Nude from Glam and Glitz and put it at the um, cuticle part of the tip and feather it down and set that one aside because that's all I need for that one and then move on to the pointer tip and then do the same thing. I'm going to set them aside and wait for them to dry and continue with the rest of the set. Now I'm going to start with the pinky and use this gorgeous hot pink colour. This colour is from, it, I bought it from a nail supplier here which isn't open anymore and I'm really upset because it's nearly finished and I want to buy it again and I don't know where. Maybe I'll find a Glam and Glitz colour which is similar. Let me know in the comments if you use a Glam and Glitz colour which is similar to this hot pink colour because I love it. Okay so what I did, I feathered the hot pink colour from the cuticle down towards the tip and then I used this bright neon green colour from the tip and feathered it back towards the cuticle to create an ombre. Now I've moved on to the pointer finger and I've cut the cork ribbon into a French smile line. And now I'm just using some nail glue to actually glue it straight onto the tip and hold it there in place up until it is cured. Then I need to secure the other side and I'm going to do it again using the same glue. And then hold that down again up until it has um, cured or set in place. Then I'm just going to trim off roughly the excess from the tip and then move on to the ring finger. For the ring finger, I just wanted the cork ribbon to cover the bottom two thirds of the nail with a straight line to make my life easier. <laughs> so I'm applying glue straight to the tip and then when it's all covered, I'm going to place the cork ribbon on top of it and hold it in place up until it sets. Then I need to use my scissors and trim as close as possible to the tip and trim all that excess ribbon away. I'm going to do the same for the ring finger and just trim that excess away. And then I decided for the thumbnail, I wanted to cut um, a, a longish triangle so I can stick it at the cuticle part. So I'm just going to use the excess of this ribbon piece. Now for the ring finger, I'm using this glitter from Glitter Heaven Australia. It's called Bollywood and I've used a clear bead to pick some up and place it directly at the point where the cork ribbon meet and the acrylic meet as well. Setting that one aside to dry and then I've moved on to the middle finger. The middle finger is going to be all pink, that gorgeous hot pink colour and I'm going to use this uh, glitter is actually from Young Nails and it's called Pinky. So with a bead of clear acrylic I'm picking both of the glitters up and just placing them at the tip, feathering them backwards to create like a glitter ombre. And then I need to set this aside for it to dry before I encapsulate it as well. Straight over to the thumbnail, I'm going to create an ombre on this one just like the pinky. So with the hot pink colour, I'm placing it at the cuticle part and feathering it downwards. And then with that gorgeous lime green colour, I'm placing it at the tip and feathering it up towards the cuticle. I need to set this aside. Actually, I need to stick the triangle on it. So when I've done that, I'm going to use a bead of clear acrylic to put the um, cork ribbon triangle just there at the cuticle and hold it in place up until it sets and then I can encapsulate. I'm going to start encapsulating from the beginning because the pinky has by now dried. And to protect the ombre, I'm just placing a bead at the point where the two colors meet and feathering it back up towards the cuticle and down towards the tip. For the ring finger, I am encapsulating this glitter and then I will be feathering that acrylic down the whole nail. This will make sure the glitter is sealed in and the cork is encapsulated so when I go to file it later, I don't end up filing all of this gorgeous nail artwork away. Same with the uh, middle finger, it's a bead of clear acrylic at the tip where the gorgeous glitter is and encapsulating it, sealing it in and then feathering that clear bead backwards. And the um, pointer finger, it looks a bit boring for the moment 
but I will be adding some bling to it later. So for now I'm just encapsulating that as well and then I'll be moving on to the last nail and encapsulating that nail as well. So I'm going to finish applying the clear acrylic to this nail and set it aside to dry and then I will start my usual filing routine. I'm using an 80 grit file to shape the tip and then I've swapped over to my e-file to smooth over the surface of the nail. Now that's complete and I need to do something about this boring nail. So I'm going to add some bling to it. I'm going to add a, a bit of a chunky cluster to it. And all my crystals are from Emerson Crystals, which I believe they've changed their name to Unicorn Lab Nail Supplies. Uh, so I've used a bit of acrylic to secure the big ones. And then because these nails are temporary, I'm only using top coat to secure the smaller crystals. And once I've applied them all, I'm just using my crystal katana to do that. Uh, I'm going to cure this nail in the light for one minute to set those crystals in place. I'm also going to add a couple of crystals on the other cork nail. So I'm putting top coat on it again and then using some pear shaped crystals to, and securing them in place. Then I'm top coating the rest of the nails and the whole set's going to be cured in the LED light for one minute and then these nails will be ready for reveal. And here's the completed look my lovelies. What do you think of it? Be sure to let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this set. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any episodes I upload in future. So that's all I have for you today, but in the meantime if you'd like to watch another video, YouTube recommends this one for you. Well I recommend this one. Which one will you choose? I'll see you next time. Bye!